Hey guys, Peter here to do an album review. Today I'm here to tell you about the latest from My Near Horror, North Star, out February 26 on Napalm Records. This album has eight tracks, 42 minutes in length, and this is the band's eight full length studio album. They are a Viking metal band from Norway, and I believe this album could be defined with one word, simple. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's not a negative. This album is really easy to digest as far as the listener is concerned. You press play, you sit back, and you just listen to it. What you see is what you get. There's really no hidden message. There's really no need to dive deep into each and every single track and try to break it down to try to understand the message, the hidden meaning that the song has. Everything is at the surface. Like I said, what you see is what you get. Once you get to the structure of this album, you'll see some of that simplicity come to the forefront. The album is very linear, very cohesive, very fluid. It doesn't really deviate, it just keeps you on a path and it moves you from song to song almost seamless. The reason for that is the construction of the album, the overall construction and then the individual construction of the tracks. There's a lot of similarities from song to song. Those similarities in structure allow you to navigate for, throughout the record in a very easy way without even noticing that you're just moving from one song to the next. So it has an easy listening approach, if you will, built in into the individual structure of the songs and then how it permeates throughout the overall structure of the album. Once you get into the soundscape, this album is really gritty has this raw production style and approach that I really like, specific if you're talking about a band like these guys and you're talking about an album that has this feel, that has this atmosphere, that has this experience. So I love that dirtiness of sound. I love how gritty it is, how raw it is, and how chunky it is at times. It just creates volume in the right places. It adds darkness and it definitely brings this blanket of black metal into the overall experience of the record without necessarily having to sound extremely black metal-ish, if you will. This is an album that still feels black metal, not only from the sound that it has, but from the overall conjunction of elements and how they're put together throughout the mix. Now, once you get in deeper into that soundscape, there's definitely three elements to talk about. Guitars, bass, and drums. Let's start off with the drums. The drums are incredible on this record, and they're incredible because they're consistent and simple in, in its approach. They create the baseline, they create the foundation, they create the pillars that allows the album to have the sound that it has. They stay super consistent, they never deviate, they're not brutal, they're not super heavy, but they create enough volume, they create enough presence, they really expand the baseline on every single track, allowing the songs to have a much wider base and then funnel themselves up all the way to the top, almost built like a pyramid. The next element is the bass. On an album that has this gritty approach that sounds this raw, I'm really enjoying the bass and how it comes across because it's very noticeable on every single song. Perhaps some tracks more than others, but on every single song you can definitely feel the bass, the presence and what it does. I like the consistency that it has across all eight tracks, but I also like the diversity that it offers as far as where it's placed and how it makes you feel towards the song. In some tracks, the bass comes across slightly groovier, and some songs it comes across slightly heavier, creating that bass line with the drums working in parallel to really build the base of that pyramid. So once again, I like the consistency of using it throughout the record, and I like the diversity of how it feels and how it comes across. The guitars are perhaps one of the most diverse elements on this album. They're not eclectic, but they're diverse. They have boundaries, but they go from one edge to the other edge within those boundaries. I love the, the riffs, I love the melodies, and specifically the solos. The solos on this record are just outstanding. You could close your eyes, pick any song you want, it's gonna have a phenomenal solo. The solos on this record really understand the dynamic of the tracks. They understand the soundscape of the album, they understand the construction of the songs, the lyrics, and what do they want out of their track. Do you want a little bit of brightness? Do you want a little bit of power, a little bit of strength? Or do you wanna keep the same atmosphere, just perhaps enhance the beauty of it overall as it goes through the song. So this is what you're gonna get out of the solos. Very dynamic, very well constructed, very well delivered, very well placed within the overall picture of the song in order to bring the most out of the tracks themselves, but never break away from the DNA that that song has in mind, which is pretty much a DNA that you're gonna get throughout the album. It stays very consistent from that perspective as well. Now, once you get into the vocals, this is where you start to see some of that raw production style approach because the vocals are really hidden into the mix. They really feel like they're in the back seat yelling orders at the driver in the front seat. They always feel like they're coming from behind into the forefront. Once again, it works extremely well for an album that sounds like this, that has this gritty, chunky approach. So I love the vocals. I love what they do because they add darkness, they add atmosphere, not just because how they process the lyrics and the lyrical impact of the atmosphere of the record, but how they sound themselves carry a lot of weight 
carry this black metal aroma that really permeates throughout the whole entire album. Overall, I really enjoy this record. This is an easy listening experience as far as a, a listener is concerned. Like I said, you could sit back, press play, and just enjoy each and every single song. You're going to tap your foot, you're going to bang your head, you're just really going to groove with, edge, with every single track that this album has to offer. Perhaps the only problem with this record is some of the similarities in song construction allows the album to start to feel slightly repetitive. It took me a few listens to go through it in order to understand the deviations or the differences, if you will, from song to song. Uh, try to pick the uniqueness that is present on each and every single track because some of those similarities really start to make things difficult, at least at first glance. The more you get into the album, the more you start to understand what's happening. But at first glance, it makes it slightly difficult to see the forest from the trees. And that's perhaps the main negative that this record has in store for its listener. But overall, I really enjoy this album. I enjoy how simple it is. I enjoy the sound that it has, how it's put together, the atmosphere. And like I said, it makes you tap your foot and bang your head. That can never be a bad thing. Now, as far as songs are concerned, I want to start off with West Coast Groove. This is your typical black and roll song. It just has a lot of rock and roll and has a lot of black metal in it. I love the guitar riff. The drums really create the foundation for this track. The bass adds to that foundation, but it also adds a slight groove line to it. So it makes it groovy, but it makes it heavy and makes it thick. Uh, it really creates this huge pathway for everything else that's going to come on top of it. A song that has such a rock and roll feel from the beginning all the way to the end. Now, there are certain parts of this track that are a little bit more straightforward, if you will, the verses being one of them. There's not a lot to digest from the verses. The verses are very simple, easy to understand, easy to grasp. Once you get into the chorus, the song gains a little bit more volume, it gains a little bit more layers, becomes slightly more melodic, making the track very hooky, very catchy. The chorus has the necessary volume to help you with that. Adding some backing vocals in the chorus makes it even more hooky, even more catchy, and once again, the solo comes in and just absolutely magnetizes the song, makes this song become such a big track. It has the right sound, it has the right vibe, it has the right approach. I just love what the solo does. As soon as the solo is done, the song goes back to its original formula and then it's how it progresses all the way to the end. A song that stays very together, it doesn't really deviate too much. Perhaps the only main deviation within this track is how the solo sounds because it breaks a little bit away from everything else you experience up until that point. But where the solo is, it's pretty much where you expect it to be for a track that has this sort of roadmap. Next, Higher Fire. Super gritty, super chunky track as far as the guitars are concern, concerned. From the moment it starts, you could feel the volume. A track that's not heavy, but it has a lot of heaviness in its sound. That's the best way to describe how this track comes across. It also has a lot of melody, but the melody holds a different vibe. The melody is present in the verses. It kind of hides the chunkiness that the guitar has. It almost gives the song a little bit of a hymn feel as you progress through it because that melody it's, it, it has a different atmosphere to it. It has a different approach and it gives you a different sense, a different way of processing it. And I really like that, that change. It's subtle, but it's important in order for the song to not sound exactly like something you've heard before on the album. But at first glance, it almost goes unnoticed. But that melody is really important in how this track progresses. The song becomes a little bit more uh, enigmatic, if you will, once you get into the chorus. It becomes a little bit bigger. It becomes a little bit more, more, more memorable. Uh, another track that has a very hooky and catchy chorus. This is something that's true throughout the record. The same thing could be said about the solos. Uh, those two elements really stay true and consistent as you progress through the first song all the way to the last song. This one being no different. Another track with another great solo. Very linear track, a track that offers few changes uh, and those changes more often than not come from that incredible melody that's hidden within the verses. Last but not least, Echoes in Blood. Uh, this is a this is a very interesting track because it has a very interesting melody built in into it But the atmosphere of the song itself to me is the winning formula for a song like this because this is a song that just keeps uh, Going to, to the same well time and time again. There's really not a, a lot of differences There's not a lot of dynamic mechanisms built into this track It really feels simple in its approach because it just repeats the same approach 
over and over again, regardless if you're in the verses or in the chorus, there's a lot of repetition on both ends as you navigate through the track. Having said that, that repetition allows the song once again to be very catchy, to be very hooky and to be very memorable because you're going to remember the song after a few times of going through those repetitions and because it doesn't deviate from them, you already know what's coming next so there's a sense of understanding the path that you're in and what the final destination holds. Guess what? Another song, another great solo. They just have a way of really constructing incredible solos that add a little bit of a different picture, that add a little bit of a different sound, of a different experience to how the overall song was getting to that point. And then once the solo is over, the track goes back to its original formula, goes back to its original soundscape, staying very cohesive, very concise, very together all the way to the end. I really enjoy Echoes in Blood. It, it's, it sounds big at times, specifically in the chorus, once again, because of the backing vocals really help expand the sound, not making the song heavier. Uh, there's not really elements within this album that make songs heavy. The, the elements just make the songs feel like they have bigger volume, more depth in, as far as sound is concerned. This one is a song that really has that in spades. This is it, On Your Heart with North Star out February 26 on Napalm Records. Let me know your thoughts on the band, on the singles. Use the comment section below. I'll be reading those and getting back to you. Take care, guys.